All right, guys, I've been working on this tournament video. It's about done. I'm going to release it. You guys are about to see it here in just a second. It is first day, Lake Toho, Kissimmee, but there's some things that I need to cover first. We spend all this time going around, getting ready for this event, whether we're ordering tackle, making rooms, uh, reservations for hotel rooms, whatever it is we've been doing. And dude, like we get down there and still the morning of the tournament, we're not ready. We are not ready. Wait till you see this. <laughs> we probably won't go very Where fast. are we at? <laughs> Lake Toho. I know, but like, which are we above? Which... That's right. Andrew didn't even know where we were. Where are we? We just dumped in the lake. I didn't know how far we were from the boat ramp. I didn't know if we were a 10 minute run, a 15 minute run. I just knew that we did not want to put in with all those people in one spot at that takeoff of 225 boats. It was too much, just too many boats. So we put in down there, had to run in the dark. Are you waiting on your guy? You're not waiting on your guy. I'm waiting on the sunshine. Okay, so now you would think that we are ready. I'm still not ready. Like all I'm trying to do is get to takeoff. That's it. What the? Oh, I need a life jacket. And a kill switch. Oh, my keys are locked, damn it. Okay, so everything works out okay. Like we get to take off, we pick up our partners. They call our boat number. I forgot one thing. Look at my front deck. There's rods on the right, they're strapped. There's rods on the left, not strapped. And I'm fixing to run 10 miles down Lake Toho at 74 miles an hour in my Phoenix. And my rods aren't strapped. I don't even notice. Do not catch it until I get to the locks. Morning. You nope. got them going down the lake? What's that? I guess you caught them going down yeah. the lake. <laughs> I was wondering, I was like, they're missing a couple. Well, I guess they didn't get strapped. They didn't fly out. So yeah, I got lucky. I mean, it's not the way to start the day. Mike Leary, if you watch this, my co-angler for the day, thank you very much for rolling with the punches and saving my rods. He didn't even check up on the way down. He uh, he had them at the lock and, and, and they could have been easily gone, lost after I spent all that time rigging them up and getting everything strung up for the next day and wouldn't even have the rods that I, I needed for these next fish catches coming up. Um, also, after I get to the lock, I get into this strange conversation with Andrew Upshaw. Like, he's wearing his chesty. He's got his chesty on. And, and folks, I've had a chesty. I've tried it. I can't wear it. It's like I just don't feel comfortable in it. If, if any of you guys have ever tried it, you'll kind of understand what I'm talking about. It's a very uncomfortable feeling. But we actually have this conversation in the lock about wearing a chesty, and I want you guys to see it. I just can't do it. I wasn't sure if you were going to wear it. I know you had it. Oh, I've got you were one. Debating it. I always got one. I've never put it on. It's like trying on my wife's underwear or something. I mean, I guess don't that's what right. you're into. Like. It just doesn't look right. <laughs> no judgment. You know what I mean? <laughs> you know what I mean? You ever tried that? Oh, yeah. You ever tried that? <laughs> Seriously. You got it set up. You never tried to put on your wife's underwear? Dude, it's a funny looking thing. She's still so small. <laughs> <laughs> it would <laughs> fit. <laughs> Don't mess with that. If you ever have a bad day, like, yeah. you just think it's really going bad, go try on your wife's underwear. Look, look in the mirror. Yeah. I remember that one. Is there anybody out here? It'll make you smile. <laughs> like, you know, Hopefully, I yes, do what she's not home, though. You, know? they want to yeah, you don't want to get caught with yeah. that. <laughs> We're 46. Honestly, man, a little bit of humor helps break the stress down in that lock. I can't tell you how stressful it is first thing in the morning, first day of the tournament, to be in that lock. Everybody's geared up. There has actually been fights in that lock in a BASS tournament, the guys were arrested. So a little bit of humor kind of helps break that up. So from here on out, the video's fishing. I'll show you guys my fish catches. I mean, 
it starts off with a bang. I mean a huge bang, like 2020 New Year's, fireworks, the whole nine, and then show you guys the rest of the fish catches. Oh yeah. my God, I got it. Hey, don't you come off there. Come here, come here, come here, come here. <laughs> come here. Come here. <laughs> That's how you start the BASS open right there. <laughs> Whoa, look at that chunk. <laughs> Way to start the day, baby. <gasps> that was cute. Look at that, dude. That is awesome. Oh my gosh, it never works out that good. <laughs> Um, when I get back to the lock, more things happen. A friend of mine in there, a Forest Wood Cup champ, Brad Knight's in there. He doesn't see me coming. I want to play a little trick on him, so I kind of put my weight off on his boat. But the funny thing is, is that the lock master, she's a woman, she really thinks that we're going to get in a fight. And while this was going on, I didn't realize it. She wasn't, I wasn't really paying attention to her, what exactly she was saying until I went back and watched the video. And she's actually referring to the fight that I was telling you about in the beginning years ago and she's really concerned that we're about to have a confrontation which by the way if you guys have never met Brad Knight he is a large man and there is no concern for me ever trying to crawl in his boat that is for sure but uh, we're both from the same creek long ways from a fight it was a joke and uh, but it's a lot of fun Yeah, I'm just going to do this in my life. Oh, my God. We're working the same way. Same way. 
Days. Brandon yeah. just has all great days. I had 80% crappy days last year. I just had eight of the right ones. <laughs> That's all that matters. <laughs> I have a few of them myself, and when I do, I don't got to play. <laughs> well, that was the end of my day. I didn't catch anything up on Toho. I had a couple of bed fish I wanted to go check right there. I had about 30 minutes to fish whenever I got back through the lock, but uh, that was pretty much my day. I had uh, 17 something. Um, I was in eighth place after day one. You guys are going to be really disappointed in me. I left my camera in the house on day two so i don't have any footage from day two what i can tell you is you didn't miss much um just had a small limit weighed in end up finishing the event 45th i fell from 8th to 45th wasn't good they pay 40 spots out of 225 and uh so i went home with i don't know 180 other guys or whatever the math is on that that didn't get paid and uh, i was one of them what i hope you have noticed or liked this video is that I am getting better at this, I think. I, th I think I'm getting better at it. I think I'm getting better at editing and stuff. Um, I'm not a professional YouTuber. I am a professional bass fisherman, and I have been for the last 20 years is what I've been doing is fishing. So it's, um, it's, it's how I spent my life. I'm trying to share some with you guys. We've got this new technology, and we're doing everything that we can to get stuff out there, especially with the situation that I personally am in with not being on a tour, leaving FLW, and not being on the Elite Series. So this is the quest to get back on the Elite Series. 45th place finish in the whole scheme of things actually will work. Um, we're shooting for a top four. It's doable, top four out of eight. Uh, 45th place finish out of all eight of them. Guy might sl sneak in there, I don't know. but. I've still got some good finishes up my sleeve. I know I do. Um, you guys, if you like this video, please leave comments. Let me know how you feel about it. Subscribe. Until next time, I'm out of here.